Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Coffee is just finishing brewing up. I did a couple of bagels. One for myself and one for Henry. I kind of have to keep an eye on the toaster oven. Because <laughs> we're still getting used to it. It's toasting faster than our old one. And obviously because it's brand new, it's like, unless you want burnt toast, you have to keep an eye on it. So, you know. You know, so it's like trying to like figure out, you know, where to put the dial. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, the bagel for graphics. I have to do the online school work with the boys. I have to see what they have. I'm hoping for another easy week. <laughs> that wishful thinking. <laughs> Last week was kind of easy. It was like, okay, you know, it was a nice break. So, yeah, hopefully today will go just as planned. And the weather is beautiful, it's sunny out, and hopefully it's nice, not too hot. You know, the weekend was beautiful. Let's keep that weather all summer. Yeah, if only we could, you know, put our request in the Mother Nature. <laughs> that would be nice. All right. Coffee? Coffee. Oh, yay. Here we go. Oh, Monday, Monday. Always, whoops, went dark. There we go. I don't know why it does that. Oh. All right, so if you're having your cup of coffee or tea, enjoy. Here's to a wonderful Monday. I hope you all have a terrific day. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm going to enjoy a bagel, cream cheese. Oh, mm. yeah, it's nothing like the first step, right? <laughs> Uh, Alright, so I'm going to enjoy this, eat my, what do you call it, bagel, <laughs> not awake yet, <laughs> um, and yeah, just get the day started and see what the boys have for their schoolwork and go from there. Alright, so enjoy your coffee and tea guys and I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic Monday. So I am dressed and ready for the day. Uh, online school work is done. It was easy peasy, my kind of day for, to do their homeschooling. Um, Henry just had to do a fill in the blank and a page of double digit addition. So that was easy. <laughs> In case it was easy, so it's like, great, great, done. And uh, I took a, because I'm his, how well, Henry's teacher will send like what they're doing for the week um every monday so i got to take a peek and it still looks like a pretty easy week you know um tomorrow all he has to do is his sight words and a google class meet up so that's it <laughs> so this week is pretty easy which is good we're we're in june and i can't believe we're in june what happened to may in april and march like every month is flying by faster it's crazy we're in june already so that's good that's done. And now I'm going to go to the outlet mall to return some clothing I got online from Maurice's. I ordered it in April and it came right before my birthday, like the week before, because it was like my birthday present to myself. I ordered like four items and <laughs> only one of those four items fit me. So, the rest I'm going to return, which I hate doing. <laughs> I don't know if you're like that. <laughs> yeah, I hate that part. Returning clothes, even though it's like nothing's wrong with them. Well, besides that they're too big, um, but they're you know still in their plastic bags and still have the tags on them, so haven't been worn outside the house, anyways. <laughs> I tried them on and they were like a size, size and a half too big. So I'm just gonna return them. And yeah, I used to go to the outlet mall all the time. 
all the time. That is where um, my friend and I would shop, right? But it has changed so much, and I didn't even know there was a Maurice's there because I was just going to, um, you know, return it by mail, you know, which would probably take longer. And then I Googled it and I saw, oh, we have one Outland Mall. Okay, and they just opened on, I think, Saturday, actually. <laughs> so hopefully they're not too busy. If there's a line, I'm not going to bother, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> but see, I had no idea because I don't shop there anymore. I used to all the time, but that was back when the stores used to be, like, you know, really good. <laughs> or, like, stores that I used to, like, I, I used to always shop at Jacob's and... I would always find stuff at Jacob's and they always had the amazing sales on like Boxing Day, but they haven't been there for years. But yeah, I used to, you know, shop there, go to Smart Set, you know, and Ricky's, <laughs> but it's changed so much. So I'm going to probably, hopefully I won't drive around the parking lot looking for Marisa. It's like, okay, where are you? You know, hopefully I find it. Yeah, so I'm going to do that, get over with, and maybe take a peek around. We'll see. <laughs> but they, you know, like, they are expensive, and I, the stuff I bought was 30% um, off, so we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's go for a car ride. Good news is that I found Maurice's pretty easy. Bad news, there's a lineup. <laughs> but there's only maybe two three four five around five people in line so i'll go wait in line it's not too too bad all done i did it <laughs> mission accomplished and i'm glad i stood in line it probably took about an hour and which you know really isn't too bad but i'm glad i did because i just got out of a store and there's probably, you know, still quite a few people in line. Like, you know, people keep coming in line, lining up. When I got in line, um, four other people got in line behind me shortly after. So, yeah, it's, and the only other store that I can tell I had a line was Reitman's. But everybody else, there's no line. <laughs> That's just the popular stores. Yeah. So I'm glad I did it. And the only reason it probably took an hour because there were like, um, in front of me, there was like a mother and daughter, two dollars shopping. So of course you have to wait for three people to come out, plus one extra for you to go in. So that's really the only reason. But I'll wait an hour, you know. And then because I was, I returned the clothes and and hats off to Maurice's. Um, shout out to Maurice's because they are doing an awesome, awesome job. I was very happy with everything inside. You mean you go inside and they give you the lowdown, what's going on, how they're doing everything. And, like, and especially when you go to try on clothes, you go in the change room. And it is so nice and simple and easy to understand. And it's so well organized, you know. Um, so I returned my clothes first and it was, it was easy peasy. You know, you just give them the paper and they have you put your returns in a big plastic bag. And then they... And they finished the process, right? So, so she asked me if I was going to shop around. So I was like, "Well, I'm here. You know, I'm also take a look around and see if I find anything because they do have really cute clothes, and they have a sale on right now: buy one get one seventy five percent off. So that's my kind of sale. <laughs> and and so it's like, yeah, sure, you know, I'll shop. And I I um I ended up finding one of the things that I bought that was too big so i didn't find the dress though to replace it but that's okay maybe next spring and i'll maybe they'll get another one like that in the future but i did find a few things and uh, yeah it was it was a nice pleasant shopping experience because they're doing so well and so i did that and returned everything and she just you know printed off a piece of paper with my name on it and the total like what i had you know to you know to spend and I thought, okay, well, I'm going to take a quick look around. And I found a few things. Picked probably, like, two different sizes because um, it's figuring out, I think, top-wise top, top what size I am in their clothing. Because a lot of their clothing is rayon material and spandex material. 
So, which I ended up going down and if it was cotton, I would probably need like a 1X or 2X. So, I got, I think I had picked like even sometimes an extra large or a large, you know. So it's like you had to pick like one of each size to see what fit. So I got a few things and I picked, uh, took a quick look around and they do have a nice store, I know. Um, so, but I just, you know, got what I liked and... And then, like, when it comes to trying on the clothes, you go to the dressing room and they have, you know, those circles on the floor, social distancing, right? Um, so you keep your space. And then you wait your turn. And then when somebody comes out of the dressing room, okay, they wipe down everything with um, um, a disinfectant. And, and then it's like, oh, wow. Because, like, a lot of stores, like Walmart, they don't have their... Um, dressing rooms open and I wish they would and all they did was take it and spray it in they wiped down like the bench and they wiped down like the like, the hooks you know that kind of thing and it, it took like probably 30 seconds or less so they did you know they did that and then um and then you go try and close and then when you're done I mean you come out and whatever doesn't fit um they take from you and then you go exit and but you exit from a different way yeah so it's kind of really set up you know traffic wise you know it's you know so you're you're not you know near anybody so you exit right and then you go pay and yeah it's i it's well done and i even told them i'm like you guys are doing an awesome job and they're like oh thank you I'm like you're welcome because you know that to me makes a pleasant shopping experience and takes away some anxiety and nerves you know because this is a whole whole new normal right unfortunately i think for a while you know we have to get used to it but when it's your first time going somewhere it does calm your nerves and anxiety because it's like wow can they have it to a t they have it down they really do. <laughs> so I, I did manage to find four things and I'm going at home. I will show you. Yes, quite excited because I haven't bought new clothes in a long time. You know, when you become a mom, yeah, you, like I buy, and I still buy from thrift stores. You know, I still buy secondhand clothing because it is cheaper, um, but it's just nice to buy, finally buy new clothes and, <laughs> and you know, and I, oh, and I, I didn't spend the whole money. They, I got back um, $33, something like that. Um, I think if um, if it wasn't like buy one and get some, one seventy five percent off, I probably would have spent, you know, whatever I had in return. So, but yeah, it worked out great. Yeah, so now let's um, head on home. It is one thirteen. Wow. I got here probably 11.50. So... Yeah, that's actually not too bad. So let's go home, get some lunch, and yeah. So yeah. So but yeah. Anyway, yeah. I, you know, I I haven't bought new clothes in a long time because we have kids. It's like you provide for them before you get stuff for yourself. You know, you get what they need first before you get what you need or want, right? Because they always come first. So, but yeah, it's just nice. I can't remember last time I bought new clothes. I don't know. <laughs> that's how long ago it's been. Yeah. All right, so let's go home and roll down the windows and crank up the music because we're only ones in the car. So, yeah, <laughs> we're allowed to do that with no kids in the car. <laughs> let's enjoy this. All right, so home, homeward bound we go. All right, so I made it home. I got some hot dogs and Doritos. Yeah, so I came home. And you know how we were supposed to get our barbecue from Home Hardware today? Or tomorrow. Well, William called, and I guess it wasn't on the truck because they didn't have any in stock, so it's on back order. So he just canceled the order. I I don't know. And when you go online, and it says they have zero now. And when we ordered it, we had seventy. They had seventy five. So somebody's not updating their their uh, system there. So, plan B for a barbecue. Shouldn't it be this hard to get a decent barbecue? Um, get one at Canadian Tire, but the one in our price range, you know, because we don't want a big fancy big fancy one. We just want a simple one, and Canadian Tire has one, but the one in Essex. <laughs> so, oh, so, yeah. So, 
never a dull moment. You know, there's always something happening. So, um, we're not sure when we're going. Like, um, I really was going to go with my dad. I don't know, tomorrow or sometime this week. I also want to go thrifting. I want to go to Valley Village. Um, because our Valley Village opened up, I think, last week. My sister went. But only one, because we have two Valley Villages. And we have two Goodwills. And the Goodwills are open, but only one Valley Village is open. Um, the other Valley Village, she said, had boards, um, where the glass is. So thinking you know usually that means a car went through so so that one is so close but the one that is close to costco is still open so i'm hoping to do that this week i'm not sure when all oh, depends when they go get the barbecue and how long that takes and that they have limited hours too so 11 to 7 like everybody else yeah i think even my reese's has they're they're like 11 to 7 too mm. and sunday's 12 to 7 yeah so that's what's going on I'm going to eat this the boys are watching Spongebob and so yeah we will see what we get up to next yeah alright it's quite a day <laughs> oh really an eventful day alright so I'll check back in well, I came outside to read some more of my Betty White book while enjoying this beautiful weather. It's another gorgeous day in the neighborhood. And then I realized I had to hose off the table in three out of four chairs because of bird poop. It's like there's a target symbol on them, you know, and birds just like aim and fire pretty much. So I did that. There wasn't much, but you know, one chair had quite a bit on it, but the table wasn't too, too bad. So I just got the hose and sprayed it off quick. But at least there's one dry chair so I can sit and read a little bit. It's about 4 o'clock and um, nobody's hungry yet. I, I had a late lunch so and we're having tacos for dinner, just leftovers. So at least that's good. Just uh, put in the microwave for a few seconds and yeah, <laughs> let the microwave do the cooking. Yeah. So Casey, I, I was out here by myself for probably about, I would say a couple of minutes and now Casey's out here too. <laughs> Yeah, playing in the bird bath <laughs> that I just filled. <laughs> what are what are you doing? Washing your hands? So I now I gotta put more water in there. Are you a bird? No. <laughs> Alright, supper time outside. I'll be a waitress today. Remember to tip your waitress as well. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have dinner outside. Just me and Henry. Yeah. Um, yeah. this tray is perfect for bringing out stuff for outside. Casey is going to go for a walk with Daddy. And then probably come home and eat. You're just thirsty. Okay. I'm going to take that. Oh, you're so hot. There you go. Is that good? Got it in the I'm gonna take out another juice. All right, so just me and Henry are going to eat. It's after five o'clock. But yeah, like I said, this tray's perfect to carry stuff on. I only have to do one trip instead of like ten or twenty. <laughs> All right, we have made it back inside and. Kind of like, um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get rain because it kind of um, got cloudy and the sun disappeared. So we came uh, back inside. Plus, the kids were getting hot. So they're watching Netflix right now. They're watching Octonauts. Casey seems to be like, not. They've watched it before, uh, but they haven't watched it for a while. So, yeah. <laughs> we're rolling outside. I'm just waving to them. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're just going to wind down for the night and take it easy. And yeah, I guess it's a Netflix kind of night tonight. Yep, so um, I'll show you what I got at Maurice's. Probably in a separate video. I want to detag everything and watch everything first. But I am super excited to try everything on. You know, because... It, that was my kind of sale, but I want to get one for free. <laughs> yeah, because I, the tops were $29, so I ended up getting two of the t-shirts for $6. Or 
really good deal. So I'm like, wow. Yeah. So I'm going to keep an eye on their sales for the future because I would like to kind of like shop there once in a while because they really have nice clothing. And now that I know kind of how their clothing size is run, um, for tops, I'm going to probably, if I, if I ever do order online, um, again, um, I would probably order um, a large and an extra large because out of the four tops that I got today, three are extra larges and one is a large. So it just depends. I think probably the most, the majority of the time I'll be an extra large, but sometimes, you know, I could be a large. It's just crazy. Yes, and plus I love that their material is made of rayon because it's nice and light and breathable, especially for the summer when it gets hot out there. So perfect. Oh, I see the sun peeking up. Okay, it's behind a cloud. Uh, yeah, so perfect for the summertime weather. And and then, I, and then I realized, and I didn't realize it after. Remember I said Jacob's used to be my favorite store at the outlet mall, and that's where I would always shop. And guess where Marisa's is? Where Jacob's used to be. Yeah, they're in the same spot. I'm like, oh, it's a sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. So yeah, so I'm happy that you know I went today and I and it was so easy the whole transaction returning it you know it was put at ease you know because you know it is nerve wracking when you have to return stuff sometimes it really is even though it's like everything is still tagged and in their bags you know and they're still in you know the shape that they got you know arrived to you in right they um no, there's no like no marks or nothing but it's still nerve wracking and you're happy to get that part over with so yeah. So yeah, so I definitely want to keep it on their sales and, you know, shop there in the future because I do have cute clothing. And yeah, so it's nice to know I know how they um, fit, how their sizes fit, yeah. Yeah, it's just nice to have, you know, new clothing. And the majority of my clothing will still be from thrift stores, you know, but, you know, once in a while, I know it's nice to buy new clothes. Yeah, uh, Lois is right here. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, and I'm hoping to get to uh, Valley Village this week. My sister went, did I, I can't remember if I told you. My sister went last week with her fiance. Um, she didn't find much. I don't know, just a few things. Um, but, the, our, like, um, yeah, I think I told you the, the other Valley Village, there was glass broken, like maybe a, a car went through. So that one's still not open. No, I went. I know one's open, so I'll take it. So yeah, we'll see what we can find. Yeah, just be nice to get back out. And it was so nice to, cause I haven't gone clothes shopping, you know, in a long time. So it was like so weird in a way. <laughs> like looking at clothes, you know, cause it's like I haven't gone in a long time. You know, I, I can't remember our last time I went to a clothing store that like you know wasn't like Walmart or like you know. A thrift store you know that was, it was an actual just just clothing you know <laughs> clothing accessories and, and they, they had shoes too and it's like gee I can't remember you know and it's like oh this is nice you know um just taking my time but like just taking a quick look you know and I was probably in the store like probably 20-30 minutes you know it wasn't that long you know just take a quick look around and and then you go try on what you want to try on and then pay for it and outdoor so yeah so i definitely want to shop in the future and keep an eye on those sales because buy one get 175 percent off is my kind of sale <laughs> yeah all right guys so and i will do that in a separate video um once everything is detagged de and washed um uh, the, the other item that i kept um that i didn't have to return was a pair of shorts and let me tell you um, they're a jean pair of shorts, okay? They're jeans. They are my most comfortable pair of shorts that I own. They are so, so comfortable. I don't know what it is about them, but they are my most comfortable pair of shorts and they're jean shorts. I mean, I have like two shorts. My other pair, most comfortable pair of shorts is my white pair. You know, just, they're comfortable. You know, like you want to wear them all day, every day. And I even told them that. I'm like, yeah, you know, because I'm like, yeah, I kept the, the only thing I kept were like the shorts and they were so comfortable, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. 
Oh, so, all right, I'm going to say goodnight. I'm just, you know, chit-chatting away. But, um, the vlog is probably long enough. I'm going to slow it. Oh, there she goes. Um, yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to go on. With, maybe, maybe we'll get the barbecue. I don't know. So, that's next on the list to deal with. Find the barbecue. That's just crazy. When I came home, he told me that. I'm like, what? You know? Like, come on. Oh, are we ever going to barbecue burgers? Like, come on. I know. Oh. All right, guys. I hope you have a great Monday night. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow morning with coffee, of course. And we'll see what the day brings us. I think, like, to, um, I think every day is kind of, like, the only thing I have planned is a boys' school work. And then after that is whatever you know <laughs> play it by ear or go with the flow kind of day you know and yeah because nobody's on schedules anymore you know we're uh, we're we're on a whole new <laughs> schedule where you know we're staying up later than usual and sleeping in you know <laughs> yeah i know i have I, i've gotten a habit of staying up to like 11 30. <laughs> yeah i know but we know where nowhere to go, right? You don't have to be at the door by a certain time in the next morning. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I can just chit chat all night. All right. So thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. And have a great night. I have to clean up the kitchen. Uh, you know, I really need Mary Poppins to live here. You know, like come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I will see you tomorrow morning, so be safe, be kind, be happy, and take care. Bye.